because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Their plan is to have a government for the world. Uh, they want to do it through the UN, right? And have everybody on this earth implanted with an RFID. Do you believe that? I know that. Then you hear the congressman, the senator, asking the you Supreme Court Justice how he's going to rule on that in my clip. You think, that, you think he asked them for no reason? They're already implanting people with chips. You, the National ID card, which becomes law by May 2008, it's going to have an RFID chip in it. Okay, everything is done in stages. After the RFID chip goes in the card and in your passport, it's going to go into your body. That's what they're going to try and do. Right, there'll be no more cash. Welcome back, everyone. A Bozeman man recently implanted a radio frequency identification chip inside of his body, making him technically part machine. Madison Atkinson watched the procedure and learned more about the future of transhumanism. The chip, the size of a rice grain, was implanted into Tim Schober's web right here through a single point piercing. Schober is the director of technology at the Montana Science Center and has always been interested in the future of humanity as technology advances and the boundary between the two blurs. Now that Schober has a piece of machinery inside him, he can use it as a form of contactless payment, keyless car fobs, and even to unlock his phone and computer. But he says the possibilities don't stop there and that he is only limited by imagination. And last week when I attended the procedure, I spoke with Schobert's daughter about her feelings towards her dad getting chipped. I feel pretty amazed that he is actually brave enough to do this. And he likes to just find new things that no one in our family have ever done. And today I caught up with Tim to see how the chip has impacted his everyday life. A little bit of tenderness, uh, but it didn't actually hurt. Uh, you know, if I pressed on it or made a fist, yeah, I could, I could feel that there was some soreness. But at no point did I want to take any pain reliever because it didn't just hurt on its own. Uh, so I was I've actually been very pleasantly surprised of how little pain there was involved in the injection itself uh, and with the recovery. These chips are becoming more popular across the nation, even the world. Even the world. As some people in Europe are using their chip as a boarding pass to get on a plane. The body modification specialist who performed the procedure says she has seen an increase of people getting chipped, largely because it is such a simple process. Thankfully I've done lots of mod modifications and you just walk them through the process and um, it's a fast uh, process, so it goes quite quickly, and it, it's kind of a hot burn, really, and everybody reacts fine. Now that Schober is part machine, he told me that he's going to get a magnet implanted inside him, which will give him a sixth sense and allow him to feel magnetic devices like motors, microwave ovens, and other machines through his body. Reporting in Bozeman, I'm Madison Atkinson, Montana Right Now.